Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Bike, with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about why I stopped using Instagram and why a lot of artists are either deleting or just not using Instagram. Let's get into it. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I do content just like this every single week, so please consider subscribing. So we're going to get right into it. The owner or the CEO of Instagram came out a month ago talking about Instagram is not a picture sharing application anymore. It's a video sharing application the thing about ig is that over the years it has lost its authenticity they they copied stories from snapchat they copied igtv from youtube they copied reels from tiktok and it, it's 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 like they're not being innovative anymore they're just copying the competition and the thing about instagram that made instagram for me so good is that it was simple it was so simple you know you had when instagram first came out you had other platforms that could have pictures on, on you know on that application you had facebook you can share whole albums on facebook but the thing about instagram that set instagram apart was that it was so simple it just did one thing and it made it very simple you want to go to this app for pictures you want to see cool looking pictures you go to instagram with the filters and everything else like that instagram is is really losing their identity of who they are and with instagram prioritizing video now where does that leave artists you know do we just post a time lapse of our drawing the second thing i want to talk about is discoverability now for a social media platform discoverability is very key to promote your creators that are actually creating to help people who are consuming content actually find the creator and it also motivates the creator to create more now right here in my notes under discoverability i have it sucks but i'm gonna go a little bit deeper into why it sucks and, and it's really outdated they're really running an outdated algorithm so as far as discoverability goes on instagram you have the explore page now the thing about the explore page is that you have to dominate a particular hashtag to be featured in the explore page now the thing about hashtags is that when you put down a hashtag you don't want to get a hashtag that will say have a, a half a million people following this hashtag when you have a hundred two hundred followers because you're never going to get enough likes to actually dominate that hashtag so you want to get something in the middle you can't get something with 50 people following it because it's 50 people following it you, that's not going to be enough people are not enough people are actually looking at it so you have to do something right in the middle maybe you have to find something with like maybe a thousand people or two thousand people actually um following this hashtag but the whole strategy is like we are we the creators are, are doing the work that the algorithm should already be doing if you look at TikTok of how they do it if you look at YouTube on how they do it both of them have a quote unquote explore page they, it, it's called the for you page I hardly ever go to my subscribers or, or my subscriber feed I hardly ever go there I just stick to the for you page and all the time I see new creators, I'm clicking on new creators, discovering new creators. This is on YouTube and on TikTok. You know, they have hashtags, of course, but the hashtags are not so prevalent. Like it, it's not so uh, dire and <laughs> as it is on IG. And it, it, it's just the algorithm just knows. YouTube and the TikTok algorithm knows what the put in front of people and it seems like instagram needs a little bit more help than all the rest of the different platforms and this is putting more of a burden on the actual creator and it, it's, it's almost setting a bar so high 
to where if you don't have X amount of followers, you're probably never going to dominate the hashtag. Or if you do dominate a particular hashtag, not many people are going to see it because this hashtag is not going to have many people even following it. This next one is just something that I would like to see integrated into Instagram. And that is scheduling out posts. There is no way as of right now to actually go into Instagram and schedule out different posts. There's no way. Now, I know there are third parties that you can do this with, but Instagram punishes you for using these third party apps like Later, Hootsuite. Instagram punishes you. They want you to post on their app. They want you to use their app to post natively. They they don't like you using third party applications. Now, the thing about this is that's too much when when you have to actually post three and four times a day. You know, the, the burden, there's too much burden laid upon the actual creator. And this is going to go into the the next thing that I that I'm talking about. And that's Instagram is very demanding on the creator. Now, the reason why I say this is because, yeah, you can post, you can post all day on, on the gram, but the key is to get people to actually see your post. And so to get people to see your post, you have to engage in certain strategies. If Instagram rolls out stories and the algorithm favors stories, then now you have to integrate stories into your already posting two, three, four times a day. So now you have to integrate stories into that. When Instagram introduced reels, oh, Instagram is, they, they're favoring reels. You, you, you do reels, you get a whole bunch of engagement. So now you have to post, you have to do stories, and then you have to do reels. And then on top of all of that, you have to post during a certain time of the day. It didn't used to be like that. You have to post during a certain time of the day when most of your followers are online. But here's the thing, Instagram only shows your posts to about 10 to 15% of your, of your followers. Why does it even matter what time I post? You're only showing my post to 10 or 15% of the people who follow me. I, I, how does that make sense? Let me know. As a creator who is just up and coming, who already has a whole nother full-time job probably, you just don't have time to do all of these things. The demand for creators is crazy on Instagram. Now we're gonna get into my actual experience using Instagram. So right now I am at about 230 Follower, I created my Instagram profile about five years ago. So in five years, I have amassed 230 followers. And I know what some people are gonna say, well, was you was you posting consistently? Y yeah, I was I was posting consistently multiple times a day. And in fact, I, I wasn't growing so much that I started thinking about it like a science experiment and see, can I grow followers? What am I doing wrong? So over the last two years, I've tried multiple, multiple strategies. You know, I, I, I've tried to clean up my profile and, you know, have everything kind of coexist as far as my uh, feed. I try to have my feed, you know, color coordinated, making it look the same. That didn't work. I did that for six months. That didn't work. So, okay. Like maybe I need to post twice a day. I was already posting one time a day for six months. Couldn't get no growth. I got maybe two, maybe two, three followers. And then at the end, <laughs> at the end of that, I'll lose two followers. Like I, I, I would always gain maybe two, three followers and, and then I would lose two followers. It, real crazy. But I, I started posting twice, twice a day for six months. No growth. I'm like, okay, it's okay. So do I suck? Like I, I thought I could 
draw but you know now i'm second guessing myself because ain't nobody liking it i'm i'm getting maybe eight likes a post so i'm like what is what is going on so the experiment goes on so i started promoting my post just to see you know how many likes i would get or you know whatever and lo and behold when i promoted my post i got over a thousand likes over a hundred comments i did this three times and every time it was around about the same number of likes same number of comments same engagement so I'm like, okay. So people actually like my artwork. There's people out there that like it and appreciate it enough to actually tap the like button. So I'm like, okay, so what's the problem? Right after I would, you know, promote a post, I would, you know, post something regular and it was back to eight, seven, five likes. And I'm like, okay, well, what is really going on? So Instagram, like I said before, only shows my posts to about 10 to 15% of my actual following. They're not showing my post at all. Even when I promoted it and they saw that I got over a thousand likes on, on, on its post. So Instagram is artificially, let me repeat that. Instagram is artificially putting a roadblock in front of me for and i was like okay why are they putting why are they doing this well they're doing this so i can be on the application longer the longer i'm on the application the more ads i see the more ads i see the more they get paid the harder it is to grow the more and more i post on instagram the more enticing promoting a post gets because i can't just put a post up and it get you know just natural engagement no i have to put money behind it now so i'm like oh okay okay instagram i i, I see you i see what you're doing i see what you're doing i i do not like it right and so i didn't i didn't quit right then I, I i kept going i kept going and i kept going about six months after that and then after that i i didn't grow and it's like, why, why am I here? Why am I here? This application is wasting my time. I get no type of growth out of it. I don't even like it. It lacks creativity. You're stealing everything from everybody. You lost your authenticity. You're not a picture sharing application anymore. You, you, you're trying to do everything. You, you, you just lost me. It's not funny anymore. So I deleted it off my phone. I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I'm through with this. It's, it's hard to keep doing something when you're not rewarded at all. And just like I said on my social media uh, guide, you have to pick a platform that rewards you also because you're putting in your time to create on this platform. This platform needs to reward you in some sense, either that's enjoyment of actually being a part of this community or it's likes engagement. But if a platform isn't giving you nothing, cut it off. Delete it. But anyway, I hope y'all got some type of value out of this video today. If y'all did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, I'll holler at y'all next time. Believe that.